I'm Ian Plant, Managing Editor of Outdoor Photography Guide, and today I'm in front of a king penguin colony in the beautiful Falkland Islands. And I've decided to do a time lapse, and I'm using my Canon 5DSR, which has an automatic time lapse feature. Uh, you can also use a device called an intervalometer, which allows you to program the time lapse sequence and, and set it off. I've got it set up so that the camera is taking a shot every two seconds and it's going to run and do about 900 shots and that's going to end up giving me a time-lapse movie of approximately 30 seconds. I'm using a wide-angle lens, I'm zoomed out pretty far and I've got everything set to manual mode. So I've set my exposure manually, I've set my focus manually so that nothing changes from shot to shot. The only thing that's going to change are the penguins that are moving around and the clouds that are drifting overhead and the light probably is going to change as well. Right now it's in full sunlight but when a cloud drifts in front of the sun, it's going to block the light and put the scene in the shadow. So I set my exposure for the full sunlight so that nothing is overexposed. And I think this is actually going to be very creative. When the sun's coming in and out of the clouds, you'll see periods of the time lapse that are nice and bright with the animals lit, and then periods where the whole scene goes into shadow when a cloud passes in front of the sun. So I think as the scene alternates between light and shadow that this is going to give us a really nice time-lapse sequence. So I've got everything set. All I need to do is trigger the shutter, and away it goes. Now I just have to wait for about a half an hour to get that 30-second time-lapse movie. <laughs> 